Hi, welcome to Chair Yoga with Danielle. I'm Danielle and this is Blue. All you'll need for this practice is yourself and a chair. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll get started. So let's look at the, our ankles and our knees and make sure our ankles are in line with our knees. And giving ourselves a moment to see if we can sit away from the back of the chair. So once we've kind of gotten our seated posture here, just taking a moment to check in with the breath. And I like to take my hands to my lower ribs and just feel how I'm breathing today. So maybe as you inhale, feeling how your lower ribs expand. And as you exhale, Feeling how your lower ribs might want to fall. And moving your chin in such a matter that the mat, matter, matter, manner, that's the word I'm looking for, manner. Moving your chin in such a manner that your head floats freely on the neck. And then releasing those hands to the thighs. And just reconnecting with your breath or just seeing how your breath is showing up in your body today for you. Now every inhale, can you see if you can lengthen your spine? As if you had a string attached to the very top of your head and it's just extending your head and your spine to the sky. And we're just gonna take the weather report of our bodies. So seeing how everything is feeling today, the inhale and the exhale. From the top of the head all the way down to the tips of your toes. When you're ready, just maybe lifting your toes, keeping the feet on the ground, and spreading the roots of your toes, and then releasing. So lifting the toes, spreading the roots of the toes, releasing. This is a few more times here, so just lifting and lowering. And then when you're ready, releasing those toes down to the ground, maybe just spreading your fingers and releasing your fingers into a slight fist or light fist, opening and spreading your hands and just a light fist. So open, good. And then when you're ready, release those hands. And from here, if you'd like to bring your hip bones forward, we're gonna send our chest up, our chin up, our head up. We're going to look up. And if you'd like, maybe scooping the tailbone under, arching the back, chin to chest, eyes to thighs. Inhale to look up. And as we exhale, scooping the tailbone under, arch the back, chin to chest, eyes to thighs. So taking your, giving yourself a moment here to just move in the body. And then when you're ready, finding neutral for your spine, so creating that long spine again, so working away from the back of the chair. And maybe just like kind of scooch the front of your chair a little bit. So we're gonna scooch forward a little bit, and we're gonna extend our right leg long. So the right heel is down, the toe is up, there's a big bend to the right knee. And we're just gonna give that right ankle some circles. So we're just gonna warm up the legs a little bit here today. Reversing that direction, taking your time, spread the toes, and then Bring that leg back in. Go ahead and extend your left leg long. So do try and keep a big bend to your left knee. Spread the toes as much as you can. Give that ankle, maybe the whole limb wants to get involved. So just circle that ankle around and then reversing that direction. And go ahead and slide that left leg in when you're ready. Maybe scooch back to the center of your chair. Make sure the ankles are below the knees once more. Again, long spine lifting up from the low belly. Can we lift our heels? lower our heels and rock back and lift our toes. So it's a lift of the heels, lower the heels, rock back and lift your toes. So lift, lower, rock back. Now, as 
as we lift our heels, imagine you have an orange underneath our heels and we're gonna just slowly, slowly, slowly drop our heels to the ground like we're making orange juice and then we're gonna lift our toes and pause. So really lift your toes up towards your shin bone. Try and lift the balls of your feet a little bit more, lower the balls of your feet down and lift your heels and then slowly, slowly drop your heels down. Create some resistance and then lift your toes, spread the roots of your toes a little bit higher, a little bit higher and then release. So a couple more of those. So give it some resistance as you drop your heels to the ground and then lift your toes, lift your toes just a little bit higher and then release. One more time. Inhale to lift the heels. Exhale to lower, slow, lower of the heels and then lift the toes, spread the roots of the toes and then release. Right from here, we're gonna reach our arms forward, palms face in, just bend your elbows. Reach your hands forward and then bend your elbows. One more time, reach your hands forward and then bend your elbows. Release those hands forward and then release the hands to the side. Give your shoulders some big rolls here, backwards. Inhale to lift, maybe exhale to lower, opening the chest. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower, opening the chest. And then reversing that direction, maybe come forward with those shoulder rolls. Beautiful. And last end time, final time, we're just going to Inhale, lift our arms, let our arms and our palms start to float and rotate up towards the sky. Just go as high as you want to go and then flip your palms down towards the floor. So we're not trying to push a stretch, we're not trying to push a movement. So if something does not feel good or right in your body, don't do it. If it feels painful, don't do it or try and do less of it. So again, there's a big difference between working a muscle and working through pain. We want to feel better. So again, lifting and lowering those arms. I like to imagine I'm lying or floating in a beautiful pond. I'm just going to float my arms up. And as I exhale, just pushing that water away from me, just pushing my body forward. Good. And last and final time, if you'd like, just reaching your arms up. Always an option to take a little cactus or goalpost arms here. Dropping that right hand down towards the earth, reach up with that left hand a little bit further and a little side bend over to that right side here. So see if you can keep the space between the belly button and the stern sternum the same length. So try not to become a human cashew. Inhale, come all the way back to center, just switching arms and side bend over to that left side. Remember to reach up a little bit higher with that right arm and come all the way back to center. Once you're to center, once again, give yourself a few little shoulder rolls here. And then hands on the thighs. Inhale, chest up, chin up, head up, look up. And as we exhale, scooping that tailbone under, arch the back, chin to chest, eyes to thighs. Beautiful. So we're going to look up. And then we're going to scoop that tailbone under, arch that back, chin to chest, eyes to thighs. And coming back to neutral. Once you're back to neutral, always an option to reach your hands forward. Now, if those hands do not want to lift too high, you can reach those hands down towards the ground. So we're just going to try and keep our fingertips up towards the sky. The palms are facing out. So I'm going to be here today. So the palms are facing out. The fingertips are up towards the sky. So watch those shoulders. Sometimes they like to creep up. And we're just going to kind of slide the tips of our shoulder blades into our back pockets. So remember to lift from that low belly. Keep that long spine. And we're going to flip our fingertips down towards our knees. So we're going to press through the back of the hands and then fingertips up towards the sky like we're stopping traffic. Fingertips back down towards the knees. Fingertips back up towards the sky. One more time. Fingertips down towards the knees and up towards the sky. Spin your hands, palms, or fingertips away from the body all the way down towards your knees. Soften your elbows, cup your hands, roll the knuckles towards the eyes of the elbows and release and spread. Scoop. more. And last time. So as you bring those knuckles in, you're not making a fist as if you have a grapefruit in each hand and you can't close your hands truly. And last and final time. So we're going to give those wrists some nice circles and towards the face and away from the face. 
And from here, elbows off to the side, palms face forward. We're going to do our little cat claw, so fingertips down towards the palms. Tabletop position, so kind of squeeze those hands in a little bit. And then open palms. Really stretch through every single one of those fingers. So again, fingertips, cat claw, tabletop, open palm. So cat claw, tabletop, open palm. So if we can stay here, maybe do a cat claw on the left side, tabletop on the right, cat claw on the right, tabletop on the left. Open palm on the left, open palm on the right, cat claw on both, tabletop on both, open palm on both. Give those wrists some circles. You can just build some brain neurons. So from here, releasing those hands to the thighs, give those shoulders some nice big rolls backwards. Awesome. And then when you're ready, just come back into the forward. So just circle those shoulders forward. And then just finding some stillness with our bodies. From here, if you'd like to imagine your chin resting on a table, we're going to carefully look to that right side. Head back to center, chin back to center, and look to the left side carefully, slowly. So you make sure you have a shift, the, tor the torso isn't moving, the shoulders aren't moving, it's just the chin moving, so as far as you get to go. And then bring that head back to center. Now from here, we're just going to start with our core work. And lengthening the spine, maybe reach those hands down towards the floor, or you can hook your fingertips underneath your chair if you can do that. Now we're not pulling ourselves into our chair. It's just a kind of a slight reminder to keep the shoulders out of the ears, but if you just reach your hands down towards the floor and just remind yourself to keep the tips of your shoulder blades into your back pockets, you should be good to go. So lifting from the low belly, creating a long spine, and without doing anything, we're just going to think about having to lift the right foot off the ground, and then release. And without doing anything, just think about lifting the left foot off the ground, and then release. Now from here, with energy into our hands, or our hands hooked underneath the chair, we're going to squeeze our two frontal hip bones together, like we're wearing a pair of drawstring pants. We're going to just cinch it in, and then I like to imagine I'm wearing a giant winter coat, and I've got a lot of layers on, and I'm just going to zip my winter coat up, but it takes me a little bit of effort here, so I've got to really, really zip up my winter coat, kind of squish the layers in as I zip my zipper all the way up into my collarbone. So here we go. Now, if you're like, none of this is working for me, a quick little way around that is to take a nice inhale. And as you make the exhale, make a quick, sharp shushing sound. So it's a shh. There we go. Now, keeping that engagement in the core, bracing the core, breathing behind that bracing, reaching the energy down through your hands, can you now imagine lifting the right foot off the ground? And release. Try and lift the left foot off the ground, but keep it on the ground, and then release. Now, without kind of shifting forward or back, would that right foot want to just float off the ground, just a half of an inch? And then releasing the right foot, does the left foot want to float off the ground just half of an inch? And then switching feet. So we're just switching feet here. You're barely lifting the foot off the ground. So it's a barely lift of the foot. Now, if you are needing to lean back to do this, go ahead and just think about keeping your feet on the ground. So keep your feet on the ground and try and lift one foot at a time. It works just as effectively as actually elevating the feet, so it's okay. So we're gonna continue to do that, maybe feel a little bit more heat build up in the body. Keep squeezing your two frontal hip bones in, keep zipping up your winter coat, zip up all those layers. Good, and two more. And last time, so setting both of those feet down. Whew, relaxing the core, taking a nice big inhale, chest up, chin up, head up, look up. And as we exhale, scooping that tailbone under, arch the back, chin to chest, eyes to thighs, beautiful. So we're gonna look up. And as we exhale, scooping that tailbone under, arch the back, chin to chest, eyes to thighs. So finding neutral once more. If you like, you can stack your hands or interlace your fingers right in front of your chest. From here, if you like, flipping your palms or Again, stacked hands away from the body. Try and keep the low back neutral and just see if you can press slightly through the upper back. So it's not a huge stretch. You're just reaching through the palms, reaching through that upper back, and release, unwind. Give those shoulders some nice big circles. Option to swim out the arms. So if you can, flip that left palm up towards the sky and then just come across the body. And then we're gonna switch with that right arm across the body. So you may find a little bit of rotation happening. Remember to keep the core slightly engaged. Keep thinking about lifting through the top of your head and don't forget to breathe. So when you're doing all that, just try and keep breathing here and focus on your breath. And last and final time. So finishing up on that right side, 
Keeping the arms crisscrossed, can you sway forward a little bit and side to side with the body? back to center and we're just going to switch arms so if you had right over left go left over right so again making a little x with your forearms or your wrists and holding on to the opposite knees and we're just going to sway side to side here now it can be a big movement it can be very little it can be nothing if it's not feeling right for you don't do it you have to listen to your body and every day or into every hour and every minute your body might have something different to tell you so it's up to us to listen to ourselves and then when we're ready, we're going to come all the way back to center. From here, hands to the thighs. Let's take that nice big inhale, chest up, chin up, head up, look up. And as we exhale, scooping and rounding and arching, beautiful. Inhale to look up. And big exhale, scooping, rounding, arching, beautiful. Last and final time, nice neutral spine. Maybe heel toe your feet just a little bit wider than your hips or a little bit wider than your chair. So again, your knees are still stacked over your ankles. I like my toes turning out. You're gonna take your hands to your knees. We're gonna take our chest down towards our right thigh. So again, we're not rounding the low back. We're just slightly leaning to the right here, coming back to center, and just lean to the left. So it's just almost like you're swaying from side to side, but maybe try and bring your chest a little bit closer to your thigh. It's almost like you're coming forward. Now, if you want to get really fancy, you can take your hands to the outer part of your thighs. You will need to bend your elbows. And we're just going to keep our knees from dropping in or dropping too far out. So adding a little energy in with the hands as you slightly press your knees out. So by slightly, I mean like 2% of your energy. It is so subtle here. And when you're ready, come back to center. Now from here, can you hold your hands to the outer part of your knees? And then switch. Take your hands to the inner part of your knees. Press your knees in as you press out. Shoulder blades back and down. Open up your chest. Maybe come forward by tipping at your hip bones. So you're rolling your hip bones forward. And you're not going too far. So you're just slightly coming forward. And when you're ready, on your inhale, press some energy into your feet. Slowly and carefully come back up. Heel toe your feet in. Do -do, all the way in. Sounds are optional, of course. Take both heels forward. Flex your feet. And you're just going to pedal out your feet here. Open your toes, pedal out those feet. So again, as I pedal out my feet, my knees never straighten. It's a slight bend to the knee the whole time. Keep that right toe up towards the sky. Slide the left foot in so the left ankle is below the left knee. You're going to take your thumbs. Again, keep a soft bend to that right knee. And you're going to take your thumbs right on the top of that knee and soften the top of the foot and maybe make some sliding movements forward and back, around and around. So above the knee. And take those pointer fingers, make little hooks with the pointer fingers. Remember to hinge at your hips so you're just tipping your hip bones forward. To slide those pointer fingers right underneath your kneecap and you're going to slightly kind of move your kneecap up a little bit. So kneecaps are meant to move. And whether you have the original equipment or store bought knees, it's okay. This can still be beneficial. So give it a little movement. You don't want to be flinging the kneecap from side to side so it's a slight movement. Now from here we're going to take our hands. Wrap them around that knee so the kneecap is right in the center and just make some nice easy circles. You may even want to take your fingertips, so your four fingers, and slide them behind the knee. So remember, soft leg, take it right to the midline and slide those hands out slightly a few times. And really sitting up nice and tall, go ahead and bring that leg in, switching legs. So left heel down, toe up, big bend to the knee. Taking your thumbs, soften the top of your left foot. And again, above the knee joint, we're just sliding it forward, maybe back, maybe side to side. So it's not a lot of pressure, almost like you're making a thumbprint cookie or you're pressing your thumb into Play-Doh. So it's not a huge press, it's just a light pressure here. Take your pointer fingers, make little hooks with your pointer fingers and hook them underneath your kneecap. You can also use all four fingers, but just be gentle with your knees. So kneecaps are meant to move, just a slight movement here. And then you can take your hands, wrap them around that whole knee so the kneecap is in the center. And you're just going to make some nice little circles, putting a little bit of heat in those knees. And then once again, if you'd like, taking your four fingers, slide them behind the knee, putting a little pressure again, just like you're putting your hands in Play-Doh or dough, and just slide your hands out just slightly. 
and then release. Bringing that foot back in from here once again. Inhale, chest up, chin up, head up, look up. And as you exhale, scooping the tailbone under, arch the back. Now from here, we're going to do a little seated boat. And seated boat isn't, is just a really good movement for the core, but we do want to keep a neutral spine. I lost my train of thought there for a moment, but anyway, heels go down, toes go up. So we're going to keep a big bend to our knees. So walk your heels pretty close to you, and we're going to find our sit bones. So we're just going to start with scooping our tailbone under and rocking our hip bones forward. So as we scoop our tailbone under and rock our hip bones forward, I want to see if you can feel less about your hips and more about like the bottom of your glutes. So your sit bones. So those bony protrusions right back there. Now, if you're like me, you may need to move a little bit of flesh away from your glutes. And then finding a neutral position, so tipping your hip bones slightly forward where your low back feels the nicest. So if there's not a big slump to your low back, it's not curved, you're not making yourself into a cashew. So finding a long neutral spine, but try and find your sit bones. Take your fingertips to the back on your, underneath your chair or reaching down towards the earth if you don't have the bottom of your chair. And from here, as if you are trying to lean back in the bathtub or you're sitting down and you're trying to reach forward for something, as you lean slightly back, you're going to use your chair or you can reach your hands forward. I like sometimes to reach my hands forward. Imagine I have a beach ball in between my hands and maybe squeeze in on your beach ball. Slide the tips of your shoulders back and down. And you're leaning slightly back, so maybe two inches, barely. So keeping that long spine and slightly bring your torso slightly back. So hold it there. Squeeze your two frontal hip bones together. Zip up your winter coat and come back upright. So again, if your hands are down, it's the same thing. So we're going to come upright, squeeze our two frontal hip bones in, tighten up your drawstring, zip up your winter coat, maybe kind of shift slightly back one to two inches, hold it there, see if you can find that engagement of the core, and maybe does right, the right heel want to lift? So the right heel wants to lift, maybe, and maybe drop the right heel and lift the left. And maybe could we float both heels? Oops, maybe not. That's okay too, and then coming all the way back up. Bringing those feet in one at a time. We're going to take a nice big inhale, chest up, chin up, head up, look up, and as we exhale, scooping the tailbone under, arch the back. Inhale to look up. Beautiful. And as we exhale, scooping the tailbone under, arch the back, chin to chest, eyes to thighs. Sitting up nice and tall once more, and as we inhale, lengthening the spine, as we exhale, maybe make that quick, sharp shushing sound. So it's a shh. We're going to do that one more time. So nice big inhale. Quick sharp shushing sound, shh, feel that bracing in the core. Now from here, we're going to walk our heels a little bit closer to our chair. We're going to make a fist in both hands. We're going to tip our hip bones forward. So tip your hip bones towards your thighs. Take your fists behind you, so behind your glutes on your chair. Take your inhale. Make that nice quick sharp shushing sound, so all the air out, shh. Try and pull your feet apart, and as you inhale, lean your chest forward, use your hands on your chair to come to a standing position. So we're gonna to walk to the side of our chair. So let's take our right hip to the right side of our chair. Hopefully I'm not moving myself out of the screen or my head's not being cut off, but you know, I guess I'll find out here in a little bit. So feet are hip-width distance apart parallel, and let's just rock forward and back. So just moving the weight a little bit forward and back. If you need to hold on to your chair, just hold on to your chair. Now when you're ready, soft bend to both knees. So soft bend to both knees, but we're just gonna hold onto our chair with our right hand, and we're gonna just shift some weight into that right foot, maybe even lift the left foot off the ground and come back to center. And holding onto the chair, shift some weight into your left foot, and maybe lift your right foot off the ground. And then release. Come back to center now without moving your feet off the ground. See if you can soften your knees, flip your palms away from the body, lifting up from your low belly, reaching energy down into the earth, and see if we can lift up the inner arches of our feet. So almost like you're standing on a pair of tennis balls and you're gonna suck those tennis balls all the way up into your hips. So again, lengthen your spine, and see if you can merge your sit bones, so the ones we just found in our chair, to the tops of your hamstrings without moving your hips around. Now, from here, without moving your feet, can you just shift some weight into your right foot? And see if your core does anything. And shift some weight now into your left foot. So you're just shifting weight gently from side to side. Maybe you'd like to go a little bit forward and back. So you're just moving your body now. Almost like you're one of those 
when I do this pose, I think about those dancing people you see on the side of the, the big blow up ones. <laughs> so this one always reminds me of that for some reason. And then when you're ready, finding a position of stillness, but finding neutral in your feet. So a little bit of weight underneath the base of your big toe, weight underneath the base of your little toe, and the two back edges or back corners of your heels. And still lifting up your inner arches. Now from here, right hand on your chair, shift a little bit more weight into your right foot. Can we bring our left knee up? Just maybe hip height or a little bit lower, it's up to you. Now if you really wanna get those hip flexors out of the way, if you have bossy hip flexors, I recommend bringing that knee a little bit higher than your hip if you can. So flex that right or left foot, heel is down, toe is up. Reaching that left arm forward like you're gonna reach for something beyond you, can you kick your left leg forward? And then just bend the knee slightly. So one more time, kick that leg forward and then bend the knee slightly. Now, we're gonna go ahead and just drop that left foot, and can we switch sides of the chair? So, just go ahead and switch to the other side of your chair. If you're like, this is so super easy, don't worry. We're gonna to get to a little bit more difficult here in a moment. If you're like, that's pretty challenging, don't worry, because we can always challenge ourselves more. So again, flex your feet, open and spread your toes, soften your knees, relax the toes, flip the palms away from the body, lift from your low belly, and can we shift some weight into now our left foot? Maybe lift the right foot off the ground, come back to center, holding onto our chair, shift some weight into our right foot, lift the left foot off the ground, and then come back to center. Then once again, finding neutral, flip the palms away from the body, lift from the low belly, lengthening the spine, suck your tennis balls up into your hips, so really lift up your inner arches. Now from here, can we start that swaying from side to side or forward and back? So remember to keep squeezing your two frontal hip bones in, keep zipping up your zipper and coming back to neutral, pause here. So holding firmly on your chair, soft bend to your left knee. Go ahead and bring your right knee up, hip height, or a little bit higher, or you can go quite a little lower or a lot lower, it's all right. So maybe we're reaching our right arm forward here, shoulder blade stays back and down, chest stays open. So let's watch this left hip. So what wants to happen oftentimes is we wanna just kinda of sit into that left hip. Let's use our core to stay lifted up out of that hip. Maybe bring that knee up a little bit higher, a little bit higher if that feels right and good for you. Extend that leg long, squeezing the quad, bend, and then once more, reach it long, and then release. Go ahead and set it down. Now I like to do rock back on my heels and lift up on my tippy toes. So again, soft knees, maybe your arms wanna swing, maybe you're holding onto your chair, it's up to you. So a little bit of movement here. And then when you're ready, finding that stillness once more. So soft bend your knees, flip your palms away from your body. Give yourself a moment for your breath. And then we're gonna stand behind our chair. So go ahead and bring your chair forward or just walk behind your chair. So you've got the back edge of your chair here. Feet are hip width distance apart parallel. So I know this is probably a little bit difficult to see me, but try and, try and hang in there with me. So feet are hip width distance apart parallel. We're gonna softly bend our knees. So just like we did on either side, we're gonna shift our weight into our right foot. So shift our weight to that right side, but we're not dumping into that right hip. So we're gonna use that core, shift our weight into that right foot. So big bend to our right knee. Let's take our left foot, if you can, on the calf, so below the knee, so it's really low on the leg. Now we're gonna press the foot into the calf, calf into the foot. And I know a lot of you are like, ooh, we're gonna do tree pose, but we're gonna do elevated tree pose. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna big bend to that right knee, lift the right heel up. So you're on the tiptoe of your right foot, but you're still pressing that left foot into the calf, calf into the foot, staying out of the hip. Now from here, could you lift one, both, or maybe just hold on with the fingertip, Remember, you can bail out at any time and drop that right heel back to the ground. So it's okay, you may need to do this a few times. It's called balance, it should be a challenge if it's like super easy. See if you can make it a little bit harder for yourself. And then when you're ready, release. We're gonna go ahead and walk to that side of our chair. So our, our left hip is to the side of the chair and just make some slight swinging movements with this right leg. There we go. Ooh. All right, go ahead and release. We're gonna come back to the back of our chair. Once more, we gotta do the other side. So go ahead and find 
feet are hip width distance apart, soft bend to your knees, give yourself a moment here, and shift some weight into that left foot now. So we're shifting our weight to the left side. Don't forget about your core. So you're gonna squeeze our two frontal hip bones together. We're gonna zip our zipper all the way up, our big winter coat, all of our layers, zipping it all the way up. Keep the breath flowing in and out. So check in with your breath. Try not to hold your breath here. So we're shifting our weight into our left foot now. Soft bend to our left knee. Can we take our right foot below the knee? So below the knee, right on that calf. So you want it always below the knee joint. So if you push a foot into that knee joint, it's gonna be a bad time. So let's not do that. So put your foot on that calf. So you're pressing your right foot into the calf. Big bend to your left knee. Can we elevate the left heel? Stay, maybe stay on the ball of that left foot. Keep lifting out of that left hip. Now, once you're here, big bend to that left knee. One, both hands lift, or maybe just you're holding on with your fingertips, or one fingertip. Find your breath, ooh. It should be challenging, so maybe find a point of focus in front of you. So really kind of gaze at that point of focus. And release, when you're ready, go ahead and walk to the other side of your chair. Go ahead and take your right hip to your chair, and we're just gonna swing our left leg across the body. Do keep a pretty big bend that right knee. So just shake out that hip, shake out that leg. And then when you're ready, go ahead and have a seat. And that was it. That was all that we had to do today for balance work. So once you've had a seat on your chair, give yourself a moment to settle into your chair. Just do a few more stretches here, maybe a few more rotations. So let's take our pointer finger and our thumb together. Elbows are soft and soften the shoulders. And again, we're gonna use the core to do our rotation. So make sure our ankles are below our knees. We're sitting out from the back of our chair. Lengthen the spine, head is still free of the neck. So as we find our exhale, we're gonna do a slight rotation to the right. Using that right oblique, left oblique, left side of your body is putting the brakes on and come back to center. And a little tiny twist to that left side. And then back to center. Release that, give those shoulders some nice big circles. Now from here, always an option to kind of scooch to the right side of your chair. So we're gonna to scooch to the right side of our chair, hold on with our left hand, and extend our right leg long. So I may be out of the frame here. So here we go. So we're scooched over to the right side of our chair. Our left hand is holding our chair. Our left ankle is still below our left knee. The right toe is up towards the sky. Use this right hand on the thigh, and if you can, bring your torso forward. So again, hinging at the hips, and maybe lift the heel of that right heel, and then lean back and lift the toe. So just kind of lean forward just a slight bit, so you can lift the heel and lift the toe. Now, if you feel a catching in your hip, or if this feels awful or uncomfortable, don't do it. You can do a little side stretch here. You can just hold that leg long if that feels good for you. You don't have to find that rotation at all. It's all good. Now, last and final time, can you keep that side of that left foot on the earth? So that instep of the left foot on the earth, maybe a soft bend to that left knee. Take your fingertips of that right, so that would be the right knee, sorry you all, and right hand on the thigh. Maybe release the hand from the chair, reach that left arm up now to the sky, and then take a little side bend, tiny side bend. Come back to center. Release it all down, bring that leg in, and you're just gonna shift the other side of your chair. So you're shifting now to the left side of your chair. Here we go, left leg goes along, and holding onto the chair with that right hand, left hand on the thigh, make sure that right ankle is below that right knee. Ooh, there you go. Go ahead and lift the toe up, and as you bring your chest forward, remember to hinge at your hips. So hinging at your hips, bring the heel up to the sky. So lift up, lower down. And again, if that rotation does not feel good on this side, don't worry about it. It's all good. Last and final time. So see if we can keep the instep of our left foot on the earth. Soft bend. Little soft bends. We don't want to lock this leg out. Soft bend. Maybe the fingertips of the left hand now go on that left thigh. Reach up with the right arm. Give yourself some space and tiny side bends. You can always stay holding onto the chair or maybe reach that right arm off to the side. And carefully come back to center and slide this leg all the way back in. Once you're all the way back in, sitting up nice and tall, just taking a few breaths here. Maybe lift our shoulders up to our ears and just relax them down and lift the shoulders up to our ears and relax them down one more time. And relax them down from here, hands to the thighs. Inhale, chest up, chin up, head up, look up. 
And as we exhale, scooping the tailbone under, really arch and round the back. Inhale to look up. And big exhale, scooping and rounding and arching. neutral spine, long spine, maybe hinge forward at the front of your chair. Again, always an option to take that left foot forward and cross your right ankle over it, but try and keep that right knee pressing down slightly, or you can bring this foot in and hold behind that right thigh, give that right lower limb some circles, give the ankle some circles and take this left hand, slide it down the front of that shin bone, hold onto the outer part of your knee and just hook the ankle over the thigh. So you want to be supporting the outer part of your knee. Do check your in with your left ankle and left knee. So see if you can make sure everything is aligned from the bottom all the way to the top. Now, without having to bring your chest forward, you can just lengthen the spine in here and deepen the stretch. Check in with your breath. And inhale, coming all the way back up, go ahead and carefully hold behind that right thigh, give that right lower limb some circles, and switching sides. So if you like, once again, the modification for this is extending the legs, keeping a soft bend in both, but crossing that left ankle over that right ankle and just dropping the knee away from the body. So if you want to go a little bit deeper, ankle goes underneath the knee on that right side, holding behind the left thigh, ankle circles, wiggle those toes a few times, Go ahead and slide that right hand down the front of the shin bone, hold onto the outer part of that knee, and hook the ankle over the thigh, lengthening your spine. So if you enjoyed this practice, or if you're doing this practice with me today or anytime, I would love to know where you're doing it. I'd love to know if you enjoyed it. Please comment, send me a message. I am, I'm just, it's such a nice thing to get to practice with you all when everything's going on like it is, so. Just keep me posted on how you're, and if you have any special requests, let me know as well. So I love special requests. I love to make a practice that you would enjoy as well. So from here, just lengthening your spine, creating a little bit longer spine. Beautiful. Checking back in with your breath. And when you're ready, release. Go ahead and hold behind the back of that left thigh. Ankle circles here. Maybe point flex the foot a little bit. And really setting that foot down once more. Inhale, chest up, chin up, head up, look up. And as we exhale, scooping that tailbone under, arch the back, chin to chest, eyes to thighs. Inhale to look up. And as we exhale, scooping the tailbone under, arch the back, chin to chest, eyes to thighs. Finding a neutral position once more. You can scooch back to the back edge of your chair if you'd like. Maybe reach the arms along, reach the legs along. Give yourself a nice big good morning stretch. And so the last and final part of class, we're just gonna find the most comfortable seated position as possible. I personally like my feet together. This chair is a little bit tall for me. So I've got a block here. So if you wanna elevate your feet up or if you have something that you can put your feet up on, maybe you've got a blanket handy and you can cover yourself with a blanket. So try and get as cozy as possible in this moment. And as you're getting cozy or getting a sweater, and you start to settle into your chair, see if you can challenge yourself and get even more comfortable today. So get as comfortable as possible here. And we're just gonna settle once again into our chair. Maybe I need to readjust some clothing or skin. Skin may need to be readjusted. So as you settle into your chair, and you start to settle into your breath. And just like letting everything that we did today settle into the body. Now you're always welcome to keep the eyes open or closed. It is up to you. And if you need to readjust your body at any time, please be comfortable. If there's something that doesn't feel right, readjust. And just allow your body to be supported in this chair, or in this space, feeling the breath in the body. So as we inhale, can we feel how the lower ribs might want to lift? And if they do, can we allow them? And as we exhale, can we feel how the lower ribs might want to fall? And 
if they do, can we allow them? Letting all the sounds around you come into you. The sounds in the room and beyond. The breath in your body. The inhale and the exhale. This is just the weight of your body on the chair. And if your mind starts to get busy or wanders, can you imagine your thoughts like clouds in the sky? See if they'll just drift on through. Now, if the breath is a little bit tricky to find today, maybe start with your count. So maybe it's a count on inhale for one, exhale for two, all the way up to the number 10. We'll just start over again. So inhaling on each number as it comes. Release your count when you're ready. Just come back to your breath. 